it seems that uh, yet again I am right. And I don't like being right, especially when it comes about these things, but what can I do if I can accurately predict how the world works? I can't uh, predict how the world should work or how it would be better. I just look at the way things are going and I'm telling you where we're going to get there. Uh, a lot of people go like, V, how do you manage to do these predictions? Do you have a crystal ball? Do you read into chicken bones? Uh, no, I, I just use this thing that is in short supply nowadays, which is common sense. A lot of people look at studies and uh, opinion influencers and comedians in order to understand how the world works. Uh, I'm not saying they're bad, but I'm saying common sense works more often than not. Because here's the thing. A couple of years ago, I was talking with a couple of progressive people, corporatists, that uh, hated corporations. And they were constantly saying, it's like, why do the corporates uh, tell us to work from the office? Why don't they allow us to work from home? Because we have studies studies that show that when people work from home, people are more happy, people are more productive. It is the land of milk and honey. Why do we need to go to the workplace? And I told them at the time, you're not going to be able to work from home. Like you are not the type of person that can work from home. And I said this because I knew the individual I'm talking with. I, I knew the guy. Uh, and I told him it's like working from home can be done, it can be a good thing, but you need the right mindset. You need to be the type of military-like person that can have a very fixed schedule and can impose it upon himself. You tried going on a diet five different times and the moment you passed next to a cookie, you decided to stop the diet. You do not have the willpower to, to force yourself to do something you don't like. And uh, now, those people are very upset <clears throat> on Facebook, very vocal. Uh, they're still working at these companies. And now I see articles that collaborate what I've been saying all of this time, that the people who are now being told to work from home are suffering. And they're suffering for the exact reasons that I predicted using common sense when all the studies were telling me that, oh, this is not the case. And I'll, I'll tell you why, because the studies aren't wrong, by the way. The studies usually... And most of the time, they're perfectly accurate. The problem is how do the left leading and progressive people interpret the studies? The studies were done on a small number of people and they only got to work from home for a limited amount of time. That's like a vacation. You know, imagine going in a vacation into the Bahamas and you stay there a couple of weeks, maybe a month, and then you come home, right? Great vacation. Now imagine you have to stay there for five years, all of a sudden, not such a great vacation for some. Maybe others like it, but you get my drift. That, that is the problem with working from home. It's great, you know, when you start off and you get to make your own sleeping schedule and you get to make your own deadlines and um, it, it's really cool, but it's just like getting your favorite song as your alarm on your cell phone and every single morning you wake up to your favorite song you're going to start despising that song after a couple of weeks because it's the song that wakes you up and you're going to associate it with the negative aspect of waking up in the morning regardless of what song it is and it's the exact same thing that's happening here people associate the office with work and people associate the home with pleasure you go home in order to relax to play video games to do the kuchi kuchi and the love making with your missus, uh, to spend some time with the kids, right? When you're home, you're home, you're relaxing. Well, now you're mixing it up. Now, home and work is the exact same thing. You're leaving your house less. Uh, you're spending more time indoors. It's not such a good thing. And I feel like I knew this because I was working from home. I, I, I knew the downsides. And people just didn't want to believe me. They were like, no, I have a study. Study, look at the study. that shows the study. And it's like, the, the, the study is the study, but you're misinterpreting. Like, the study does not take into account long-term exposure. And, and it's just like on a restricted group of people. It doesn't tell you what would happen if everyone would get to work from home. And obviously what ends up happening, a lot of people cannot abide by a strict schedule. They oversleep. They... Uh, turn in their assignments late. A lot of people don't live alone. 
I mean, I, I had several ex-girlfriends before I got my fiance, and I lived with some of them. Most of them do not understand. Like, they cannot compute. They, the, the brain does not just make the connection that when the guy is in the room at the computer, he's working. Most of the time, they think you're playing. So they interrupt constantly. They, they walk in, you know, like all of this gets you out of the mood. It gets you out of the work environment because they start talking about, you know, other stuff that you find pleasurable. Like, okay, well, let's, let's go out, have dinner tonight. And it's like, yeah, you know, I would rather have dinner now rather than work. And, and it gets you off of that, that flow. It gets you off of the, um, <clears throat> the, the work energy that a lot of people require in order to be productive. And then you also have moments where not all of your work is done by clicking clacking at the keyboard. Right? Like you, you can actually play a video game and you're still working. Why? Because while you're playing League of Legends or Street Fighter, the, the games of real people, um, you're actually thinking, it's like, okay, well, what topic should I cover? How, how I'm going to, to approach this problem? And you need that downtime, you need to relax a little bit, unwind a little bit in order to, to get into that energy again. Because sometimes you can just get a writer's block, and I'm talking as a YouTuber, but I think like a person that does coding is the same thing. They, if, if the person is not clicking, clacking at the keyboard, that doesn't mean that he's probably not just trying to relax a little bit in order to think about the solution for the coding problem that they got. So, you know, you're... you're child, your wife, your mother uh, sees that you're not working and you're playing video games and they think it's okay to, to enter the room, it's okay to talk to you, it's okay to engage with you. And when you're being a little bit upset, they don't understand, they, they think you're putting them off. Now you're, you're, you're having a fight, it's bad energy, it's affecting your work, it stresses you out. Yeah, I, I can definitely see that happening. And uh, it, it happens more often than not, I would like to say. So yeah, it's, it's not all peachy working from home. Uh, the, more, the more I age, the more I realize that there are no solutions to problems. There's trade-offs. There's advantages and disadvantages. Some people might indeed prefer to work from home, but according to this article, 68% say they are being burned out. And I'll tell you also why they're being burned out. When you stay at home, you get bored a lot. When you get bored, it's like, what do you do? You just, oh, well, may, my, might as well impress my boss. Might as well start working a little bit. And if you're not working, you feel guilty. Regardless if it's a Saturday, regardless if it's a Sunday, uh, your boss might realize, okay, well, I'll just give him extra workload because there's no, no more distinction between work and home. So yeah, they're, they're going to work a lot more from home. I understand why these people are upset now. Because they work a lot more from home than they did at the office, believe it or not. And, and it's also the fact, you know, like, you can be in the middle of the night. It can be like 1, 2 a.m., you're not sleeping. You know, you, maybe if you were to spend a couple of more hours in bed, you would fall asleep. But you, you got, like, this idea that, oh, I got this deadline coming up tomorrow and I haven't, I haven't worked today as much as I wanted it. And then you go to the computer in the middle of the night and you start working. You realize that it's the morning, you go to sleep, you wake up, next day at 6 p.m., you're tired. Yeah, it can happen. And uh, it, this, this is what these people have asked for. Because I know I, I've been looking at various forums. I, I've been talking with a lot of people working in tech. I'm not saying, you know, like necessarily Silicon Valley. But I know that this is what these people have advocated for for the last years. Corporations evil, corporations are horrible. If they liked us, if they, if they just trusted the worker, they would allow us to work from home. And now they're complaining that they're suffering. Why don't you listen to people like me? Because I wasn't the only one. I, I don't think I'm the only person on planet Earth that has common sense. You must have had a couple of friends which told you, look, look it's a bad idea. Like, no, trust me, you know, it's not for you. For 30% of the people, it is for them. I guess, which is why the best companies allow you to choose. Do you want to work from home or do you want to come here in the office? I personally think I can work from home. But again, like it, it's, it's not for everyone because everyone is different. Other people might like the social aspect of going to the office. You know, they, they might like to, to speak with other people and have like that office environment. There are people that are hardwired in order to function like that. You know, some people might um, have difficulties at home. Maybe... 
you know, they live with their parents and their parents are arguing every now and then. It's hard for them to concentrate when they're, they're hearing mommy and daddy having a, a, a spousal spat. But yeah, no, so uh, just wanted to make this video. I guess uh, the, the friend of mine that I had the conversation probably knows. Uh, what I really hate is that never, I have never seen like people just coming back to me and saying, you know what, you were right. Yeah, you, you, you were absolutely right. I was wrong, you were right. It never happens, you know? They just block you, then they never talk to you again. And probably when they realize you're right, they're like... <laughs> but, but, you know, that's it. Let me know what you think, I'll see you guys in the comment section.